What is up everyone? Um, it is week five. Week five. Five. Hi. Week five. It's week five. It's week five. Week five. Week five. Week five, baby. <laughs> week five. best way to get on the video is to really go crazy with your face scream random stuff say the goliath is the best okay. open and close your eyes like open your mouth okay, okay. all right <laughs> hey everybody welcome hey. for the three-man swing show it's about to begin that's enough how many, how many oh! You're not funny. This is for you, Robert. Andrew Rob will be proud. We have somebody that doesn't know where he's supposed to pull. What do do y'all drop us or does he pull? What do I press? I never thought that I'd be naked on the floor. Wow. Wow. That's a good touch. Wow. Oh. Oh, oh wait. That loop, you see the loop behind your hand? Do the loop. Now go back with your hand. Keep going back. Keep going back.
You are never too young to be walking with Jesus. God wrote a book. The Creator wrote a book and handed it to you because He loves you. If you hear from God daily in His Word, it is going to change you forever. Romans 8 28 says this, that God is working all things together for good for those of us who love Him. There's no better time for you to commit to walk with the Lord than right now. I'm going all in, in over my head. I'm not scared to get drenched in your love. that a person comes to salvation in Christ is recognizing what the Bible says that we are slaves to sin and when you recognize that you recognize your need to be brought out of slavery and into freedom and only Christ provides that God is working all things in the life of a believer according to his purpose God is going to take the darkness and he's going to bring the light. God is going to take the brokenness and he's going to restore and heal and bring things back together. The providence of God means God is bigger and greater and more powerful than all of the brokenness that we'll ever encounter. God's word is full of examples of young men and young women who commit their lives to Jesus, who shine the light of the hope of the gospel in the darkest part of our society. You could be a light for the gospel. I'm not scared to get drenched in your love. Wherever you go, God, I will follow. I'm not scared to get lost in your love. I pray that you would raise up out of this week of camp a group of men and women that will be faithful to the gospel, faithful to Jesus faithful to your word, and that you'd use us to impact the world in Jesus' name.